to Busey's oh, I'm here at Busey's with the what's the name Busey the otter oh, the most famous otter in all the world are you like you watching I'm looking at myself in the reflection look at me we're gonna go buy a phone case or like a phone stand you know what I'm talking about because it's you we're not gonna go buy any souvenirs we're not gonna buy any Busey related merch we're just gonna go in, get in, get out, get in, get out, get in, get out. Because you said you weren't gonna make any stops. You, Victor, said you weren't gonna make any stops. And we all know how long we take of UCs. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I can't even listen to myself. Not only that, what kind of pissed me off, I bought a phone case, well, the phone stand, I'm not gonna get into that again. And my phone's too heavy. My phone's too heavy, so I bought that for nothing. And not only that, the past few times I've come to Bucky's, I wanted a Bucky hat. I finally said, you know what? I'm gonna buy a hat. I got super excited about it. It wasn't until I already paid for it, too late to do anything about it. It's a kid's hat. Like, it's a little kid's hat. So, I'm stuck with it. Now I gotta, you know, wear it. Also, that G Fuel here, which is like one of my favorite energy drinks. And it tastes just like Ryan Reynolds. What I would imagine Ryan Reynolds would taste like. Pretty good. But, let me get on the road. I'm already a little I'm right behind schedule, so I'm really upset about that. But 
see what happens. Bye, geek. I'm almost home. I'm, I'm like halfway there, so I'm almost home. I'll no longer be alone. I'm sleepy, but I'm trying my best as I drive through George West. Uh, yeah, luckily for you, you get to experience this whole trip in like a matter of minutes. And I'm doing this for hours, so kudos to you all. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'll be speak on stuck in my teeth. Um, yeah, extremely tired. I worked like a 12, 13 hour shift, got out of work, and said, I want to go home. So, oops. Don't know what I was thinking. Well, I, I do. Things you do for love. I miss my family. Don't want to spend another minute away from them. So, yeah, what, what have you all been doing? I haven't, like, I've been, like, really busy. Like going back and forth and then working, you know, my butt off, even though it's only a few days out of the week. Uh, which I'm, I'm lucky to have to where I only have to work about 14 days a month. And um, I'm more comfortable than I've ever been um, financially wise. I'm not comfortable because... I don't have my family. I don't have, you know, my reasons for living. They're not with me. And it, it hurts. It hurts my heart. The first time I made this drive without them, and I was crying like most of the way. Um, I know I was probably looking a little sus at the checkpoint because I had like red eyes and I didn't want them to pull me over or anything, thinking I was on something when I was just on emotions. But yeah, um, the wife, I know you're watching this because you love watching my stuff. It's been really hard, but, you know, I love you and I know we talk as much as possible, but I'm just looking forward to being back home, being with you and spoiling you like crazy once I get there, like doing anything I can to make you happy. So it's been an emotional journey. So I haven't had time to check in like on the Valley drama or anything like that. I've been pretty much off social media also. Uh, kind of just doing a cleanse and you know what? It feels so good. It feels good. Um, inviting drama into your life, even if it doesn't have to do with you, just like going through other people's drama. It's so draining. It's mentally unhealthy. I don't know how people could constantly do multiple videos a day, multiple lives, and I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to get involved in it. I'm not going to talk about it past this point because I don't want my life to be like that. Like My life has been so much better without the drama. The only bad thing is... I miss my loved ones and I miss you all so hopefully I'm uh, I was talking to, to somebody and he suggested that I start doing my lives again and he said like you should oh man my arms getting tired hold on let's switch let's switch oh yeah my little suit well not my little my huge suitcase I got last time I went to Disney World um, and now I'll be able to go more often which is super excited about um, yeah, I'm gonna get back on this drive. I'm sorry if I'm not making as much eye contact as I wish I could, but I mean, I'm driving. You gotta keep your eyes on the road. I made it. I'm um, just driving into Edinburgh. I freaking made it and 
I, I don't know how. I'm so tired. I've been up yesterday. I've been up since like 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. But I, I wasn't going to miss Easter with my family. I, no. I'd rather go through all of this than, you know, have... I get all emotional. I think it's because I'm tired and that combined with, you know, my emotions is getting me all teary-eyed, so I'm sorry. But... I would feel horrible. You know, I, I, I feel horrible, like, you know, having my daughter go a holiday without me or even, you know, any day without me where I could be there. Like, I would feel horrible. Like, yeah, I'd be rested, but I'd feel horrible. Like, you know, I'd be there a few hours after my nap. Like, I could be with my daughter right now. to show you like my daughter's reaction when I get there my wife's reaction when she sees me because I haven't seen her in days and that's not like us uh, she doesn't like you know she doesn't like the spotlight she doesn't like being mentioned or talked about there's been uh, times where I'm talking about her on a live and she'll comment like okay you can stop talking about me now or she'll send me a text saying like I'm talking about her too much because she's real private extremely private but we've been together going like on I think 13 maybe 14 years sorry if I get the date wrong and in all those years we were never like apart so these couple of weeks where I'm gone for days is completely new to us it's hard and I'm really tired now so I don't know if I mentioned this earlier it's just it's really difficult but we still make time to talk to each other every day as much as we can if I'm not sleeping I'm working if I'm not doing either of those I'm talking to her and there she is right now probably wondering where I'm at so I'll, uh, I'll finish this conversation later. Before I left, I told Emily that when I come back, I'm going to take you to one of your favorite stores. So we went to Anime Boom, picked up some awesome Sailor Moon drinks on Sailor Moon weekend, and picked up some unique snacks. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and share what kind of snacks we got. So stay tuned. 
Speed Speedo Papa. I lost half of it to Emily because she doesn't like ketchup. So she took both ends, which are my favorites. So now I'm stuck with this. Yeah, it's fine. But, yeah, I'm back home. Spent Easter with everyone. Picked up a Speedo Papa on my way home. Well, my house. Mm. So that was my Easter. Just a short little vlog, keeping you all updated. I'll probably do another one or two. All right. You don't want to say Happy Easter to everybody? All right. I'll see you all on the next one. Hopefully, it won't be as long as my. Hopefully, it won't be as long, you know, as my other break. Yeah, hopefully I'm back for a while. If y'all like this.